senior year of high school, I had these friends named Bridget and Marcus. And just as some background details, I met Bridget back in freshman year of high school in a computer class called Word Processing. It was called Word Processing and it was just a computer class learning how to type really fast and I don't know, like 30 something words per minute. I was always like 31 or 30 cause your boy slow as hell. And I think it was, it was early freshman year. It was the first semester and that was I think my second or third period. So I met her as soon as I got to high school. And as for Marcus, I'm pretty certain I met him around, I think maybe mid to the second half of freshman year. And I think it was just cause at least for me, I was part of a bunch of different cliques. Cause you know, you have your jocks, you have your nerds, you have your people kind of in the middle, you have whatever, whatever. So I kind of went from click to click to click. And that's a whole nother, that's a whole nother animation or podcast. But anyway, at some point, those two just became friends over time. I was in the middle of it and we were all part of the same friend group. During senior year, they both kind of became a thing. So one day I decided to have them over. It might've been during a spring break or something. And you know, it was just kind of the usual senior in high school would kind of hang out. You got some booze, you had some weed, you had some X, Y, and Z. Nah, it was it was just alcohol. My mom bought some beer for us to all share. Cause remember, we're 18. We couldn't go into a store, just buy some beer, cause we're obviously underage. So I said, mom, can you please buy us some beer? She did, because she knew that we were gonna be here actually in this very room. So we had the beer and Marcus also brought some vodka. He brought this really big, tall, thing of vodka i think at the time i thought it was really sick because i was like oh my god we have vodka this is super awesome but it was probably some of the cheapest stuff that you can get from a walmart or lord knows maybe even a 99 cent store is there even 99 cent store alcohol i don't even know by around 12 maybe 1 a.m we were all hammered we were all crashing at the time in this very room i did not have this bed what i had was two pieces of of just wooden pallets and I had a mattress on top of it. So I essentially had a hobo's bed, a f-ing homeless person's bed, pretty much. And the bed was pretty small, all right? The bed was just barely a twin size. And Marcus, he was by no means a skinny dude. He was pretty fat. Straight up, I was all, dude, you gotta sleep on the floor because I wanna sleep on my bed. And as for Bridget, I said, hey, you can just come sleep in the bed with me. So as far as I know, Marcus seemed pretty okay with it. Usually whenever he would drink, he would get really, really drunk. I mean, he couldn't, (laughs) this guy, he was loopy. He was out of here. So the night kicks in, the darkness settles in and everybody is asleep except for your boy. Because look at man, it was kind of hard for me to sleep because this was essentially my first time being in the same bed with a girl, sleeping with a girl, wink, wink. And I was all, dude, how can I possibly sleep? The hormones kick in, man, the hormones kick in. And as an 18 year old, my mind is going crazy. I'm a, I'm a, oh my God, again, my bed, barely a twin size. So there's barely enough room for two people to comfortably be separated so we were pretty much close the whole time you guys cannot tell me that you would not scoot just a little bit closer i'm talking to you gentlemen out there to the boys you guys cannot tell me that you would miss an opportunity to snuggle just a little bit closer to the chick ladies and dude it just kicks in at some point i am literally sleeping with my best friend's girlfriend. So I wake up the next morning and see that Bridget is still asleep and I roll over a little bit. Dude, Marcus is gone. I'm all, where the heck did this guy Marcus go? He left me in bed with his chick? I'm all, there is no way, there is no way he left the house with just me and his chick in the same bed. I just I just couldn't believe it. So I get up, I go over to the bathroom because I had to go take a piss. You, you dudes know how it is. When you wake up, you got, you know, you know that you gotta go take a leak. I get to the bathroom, open the door, and well, 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 what do we have here? We got Marcus, dead as f- on the floor with vodka bottle in hand. He gets up, throws up in the toilet because he's obviously drunk as hell. And then I go back to my room, check on Bridget. Bridget, hey, she is good to go. And I was all, hey, you know, did you sleep comfortably? Were you warm? Were you good? 
And she was, and, you know, it was just kind of like, yeah, I slept nice. I was comfortable. I was like, it's like, all right, good. You know, just uh, making sure that, you know, you uh, stayed comfortable. You had warm blankets and, uh, you know. But anyway, Bridget, she gets up. She takes off. She goes back home for the day. I think it was about 9, 10 a.m. Marcus stays with me for a little while more. And I didn't tell him how great my sleep was. Because why would I want to tell him how great of a uh, night's sleep I got with his chick? I just, I just didn't mention it. Never even brought it up. But hey, man, it is what it is. And at the end of the day, it's up to you to decide whether you want to sleep with your best friend's girlfriend or not.